is first. He's just 15, but prosecutors say he was hired to kill. The teen is one of three people accused in a murder plot that left a 23-year-old woman dead. And now ahead of a possible plea deal going through Friday, the victim's family is rallying support from the state's top attorney to try and stop it. Let's go straight to Karen Scullin tonight. And Karen, some say the teenage suspect is getting off too easy. Oh, that's actually an understatement. And it's not just the family, it's the community and even Attorney General Keith Ellison who are asking for a stiffer sentence for the 15-year-old who allegedly kicked in a door and shot a woman five times in Brooklyn Park this past November. For the moment, the pain has given way to frustration. We have not even... Kick in the door, wave in the 4-4. Four, four. All you heard was Biggie, no, hit me no more. Kick in the door, wave in the 4-4. Four, four. All you heard was Biggie, no, hit me no more. Who are asking for a stiffer sentence for the 15-year-old who allegedly kicked in a door and shot a woman five times in Brooklyn Park this past November. For the moment, the pain has given way to frustration. We have not even begun to heal and recover from the death of Zaria. The family of murder victim Zaria McKeever furious over a plea deal that gives the 15 and 17 year old teens who shot and killed McKeever two years or less in juvenile corrections. Oh, that fucking oh, nuts. Two years. <laughs> two years. Or less. Ooh. Or less. Ooh. Kick in the door, wave in the 4-4. Four, four. All you heard was Biggie, don't hit me no more. Yeah, man. Two years, man. That should get you two years or less. Oh. No, that's, that's, that's disgusting. Tell they me could, about it. They could serve less than two years. So imagine like the low, the, the like the easiest they serve is probably like six months. Come on. I mean, that's a serious crime, man. Come on. Be kicking in doors and shit, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who's Gene? Gene keeps coming up under different names. You trying to porn bomb me, man? Here, go ahead, porn bomb. I got the um the thing over yo, here. Yo, yo. Yo, y'all hear me? Yo, that's the Texan, Ike. Huh? Yo, that's the Texan guy. Remember the Texan? Oh. Yo, you 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 on the panel with three on burritos? I ain't that shit. Oh, we got three on nah, burritos. Y'all don't count. Y'all don't count. Y'all ain't from Mexico. Y'all don't count. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Y'all fake on burritos. Y'all fake yeah. on burritos. <laughs> yeah. What, what's up, phone? They faux burritos. What's up? What's up? Um, what's up, fisherman? Um, what, what you think about this man kicking the door, waving the faux faux? I don't know. I just jumped in. What you think about this, Gene? Man, uh, I, I didn't catch the beginning of it, but what happened? Stop it. Let's go straight to Karen Scullin tonight. And Karen, some say the teenage suspect is getting off too easy. Oh, that's actually an understatement. And it's not just the family. It's the community and even Attorney General Keith Ellison who are asking for a stiffer sentence for the 15-year-old who allegedly kicked in a door and shot a woman five times in Brooklyn Park this past November. For the moment, the pain has given way to frustration. We have not even begun to heal and recover from the death of Zaria. The family of murder victim Zaria McKeever furious over a plea deal that gives the 15 and 17 year old teens who shot and killed McKeever two years or less in juvenile corrections. And many others and even the attorney general agree, saying the deal isn't enough time behind bars. I agree with the family and the community that the disposition. This is your attorney general. Yikes. Yikes. Look like Michael Eric Dyson stunt double. You are in trouble just off the break if that's your district attorney. Behind bars. I agree with the family and the community that the disposition the county attorney's proposed for this juvenile who was the shooter uh, in this heinous crime is inappropriate. But family wants Ellison to do more. It's wrong on every level. Don't just come to us and say you stand with us, but don't do anything for us. It's wrong. 
And when asked why he doesn't take the case or what the process is, Ellison said this. The process it, it involves multiple, multiple players involved. In fact, it involves, it involves every county attorney in the state of Minnesota. And so there are things are being worked out. And uh, that's what I can Chad say. is saying the clip is really low. It's a bit low. Oh shit! I didn't know. My bad, y'all. I just had to had to um. I didn't know it was that bad. <laughs> Damn. Damn. My bad. Oh, that's actually an that understatement, better? and it's not just the family, yes, the community, and even Attorney General Keith Ellison, who are asking for a stiffer sentence for the 15-year-old who allegedly kicked in a door and shot a woman five times in Brooklyn Park this past November. For the moment, the pain has given way to frustration. We have not even begun to feel and recover from the death of Zaria. The family of murder victim Zaria McKeever furious over a plea deal that gives the 15 and 17 year old teens who shot and killed McKeever two years or less in juvenile corrections. And many others and even the attorney general agree, saying the deal isn't enough time behind bars. I agree with the family and the community that the disposition the county attorney has proposed for this juvenile who was the shooter uh, in this heinous crime is inappropriate. But family wants Ellison to do more. It's wrong on every level. Don't just come to us and say you stand with us, but don't do anything for us. It's wrong. And when asked why he doesn't take the case or what the process is, Ellison said this. The process it, it involves multiple, multiple players involved. In fact, it involves, it involves every county attorney in the state of Minnesota. And so there are things that are being worked out, shit. and uh, that's what I can tell you now. Community leaders like Reverend Jerry McAfee, Lisa Clemens of A Mother's Love, the they Brooklyn got Park Police the Department, and the Minnesota Police and Peace Officers Association agree that there needs to be reform in the juvenile justice system. But the plea deal in this case isn't it. Our rehabilitation is so important. Hey, we can't hear you. Yo, yo, yo. We What's up, man? Who is that? Keep, who is that? Elton Dansler? Who are you, man? Hey, yo, this is Mad Peace, man. I, my, my thing wasn't working, yeah, man. That's why I am. What's going on, man? What's happening, man? What you think about this, man? What you think about this? Oh, your mic, your mic jacked up. Yeah, man, my, my mic is all jacked up, man. I ain't even finna get into all this technical oh, stuff, man. All this stuff is crazy, man, but I'm proud of you, man. I'm finna get out of here, man, and I'll make this money, man. I love y'all, man. Salute, Act Nation. I'm out. Peace. Woo! All right, peace out, bro. Take it easy, man. Um, Yeah, man. He's not wrong, right, though. He's not wrong, right, though. Yeah, no. Look at this, man. God damn. You can't. You can't. You cannot rehabilitate sons man these dudes get that they coming home to fucking be legends they gonna be they gonna be fucking somebody in the community for killing that girl man. i want well, white guilt is fucking horrendous it's terrifying yeah. why are the white people allowing this because they feel guilty for what happened like oh, Mike farting. Um, wicked. Your mic is like farting. It's like your mic is farting, dude. Yeah, it sound like it sound like the beat from um fucking um pony. By it's, it sound like Rack City about to start. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, can you hear me now? No, it's not. We can't hear you. It just keeps bounce like boom, boom. I thought it was Rack City. Yeah, exactly, man. I don't know what the fuck going on, but and the Minnesota Police and Peace Officers Association agree that there needs to be reform in the juvenile justice system, but the plea deal in this case isn't it. Our rehabilitation is so important, but this is murder. Execution, premeditated murder 
Now, the Hennepin County Attorney, Mary Moriarty, sent us this statement. We know that the Attorney General wants retribution against this 15-year-old, but we believe our request for an initial juvenile sentence, along with the potential for a long adult prison sentence, should he kind of mess up along the way, gives us the best chance to protect public safety by investing in rehabilitation while still having accountability. <laughs> A, a fucking a fucking white woman with a goddamn crew cut. You know what that you know what time it is with that, man. Copy muncher. Yeah, got man. Got the Ellen DeGeneres cut, bro. Yeah, she's she's with it, man. <sighs> but do you get what I'm saying though, early? Did you understand what I was saying? Nah, what you saying? It, it's this white gimbal is terrifying. Why are they allowing this shit to occur? Why you allow your mic to occur like this? What happened to your mic, man? You never had these problems before, man. It's, it's still doing it? Yeah. Your mic is like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It sounds like you got gas. What you still trying to call me? To? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Like bad gas, man. Go out and come back in. Yeah, man. you got to go purge fix. your mic. Yeah, see if it'll fix it. Reveal the individual factors that led us to this conclusion because they are confidential in any case involving a 15 year old. But we believe after a thorough investigation and a long deliberative process, this is the right result in this case. And again, this case does go before the. But see, here's the thing about gliders. They don't understand that like in black, it, like if this is a glider community with glider people, maybe this will work. I don't know. Maybe it does. I don't know. But in the sun community, this this is like getting on a loudspeaker. This is like making a billboard right in the middle of Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue and saying, the penalty for kicking in the door and executing a woman is two years or less. Because, <laughs> I mean, we are, we different, man. We don't operate with the same. This is this ain't a system we would have created. So like we 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 see this and we're like, oh shit, yeah, we don't get no time for that. We we different, man. You just gotta. We need a different system, man. Individual factors that led us to this conclusion because they are confidential in any case involving a 15 year old. But we believe after a thorough investigation and a long deliberative process, this is the right result in this case. And again, this case does go before the judge on Friday. If there are any developments before then, we of course will bring them to you. We are live in Minneapolis, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.